Hi, it's Julia. It is time to update you guys about our project of creating a green frame around this apartment with this Porthos plant. I was here one year ago and I started to train the stems to grow in a certain direction by hooking them up to the wall and the ceiling. The plant back then was already root bound and I was planning to return here spring and summer to repot this plant in a larger planter but I got so busy at work that I couldn't make it until now. If you have not seen that video and you want to see what this plant looked like before it took over this wall and what I have done, I will include the link to this video so you can watch it later. But before I start, let me introduce myself quickly. I am the founder of My City Plants and on this channel I am sharing with you what I have learned about house plants and my best green tips. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you do not miss any videos about how to grow happy and healthy plants, how to deal with different plant issues, decorate with plants and much more. So another year has passed and this is what the plant looks like today. You can see how many stems are grew and how long the stems are. I have plenty of long stems to continue framing the space. This plant is really struggling and really, really desperate to be repotted. You can see that the color of the leaf is not really vibrant. There is a lot of yellow leaves, dry leaves, and the spacing between the leaves is really wide. Plus, many stems lost many leaves. This plant looks pretty sad, but this guy is a survivor. And despite of being root bound and really unhappy, new stems that keep growing. Look at all this new growth here. It is very leggy again because of the root bound issue. That's why it's, the leaves are not really close to one another. I know that after I repot this plant today, it will grow fast, it'll get many more new fresh leaves and get in a great shape in no time. I will start transplanting this plant into a bigger planter. I have selected Lechuza self-watering Balconera 50 planter and you can see how much bigger this planter compared to the Lechuza self-watering Delta 20 planter that the plant is in right now. Balconera planter will keep this plant happy for two plus years. Also today I will be using Lechuza Pond instead of soil. This is a great soil substitute and works for all plant types. Lechuza Pond consists of high quality mineral stones that are free from contamination and pollutant. It's infused with nutrients that are slowly released in time. The substrate maintains ideal pH balance offers great porosity and filters water. Pond has an ideal water-air ratio for plants, which is 45% water and 55% air. Pond absorbs water like a sponge. It pulls it up from the reservoir and then slowly releases it to the roots. By the way, we sell the Chooser self watering planters and Pond Substrate in our online shop at mycityplants.com. I will include the link to our online shop in the video description. Before I start, I need to protect the furniture and the wall. I will use the trash bags and a blue tape. The blue, this tape will secure the back to the wall and then will not damage the wall when I'm ready to remove it. The challenge to do this is that I cannot really move pot anywhere because the plant is attached to the wall. So I have to get really creative to repotting this plant. All right, I am ready, let's go. I'm gonna remove the plant, the inner part from the cover. We can probably see, ooh, wow, look. Look how many roots have grown in this past year. Yeah, definitely, definitely plant needs a new pot. Okay, the cover is out. Now I'm going to grab my scissors and I'm going to cut all the roots so I can easily remove the plant from the inner pot. 
It's very important guys, before you work on your plan, always, always clean your tools. I'm using rubbing alcohol. I'll just simply gonna spray it so it's disinfected and then I can proceed with pruning roots. There is no harm to the plant to prune roots. I did prune it last year and as you can see, all new roots grew and they're all very healthy. But if I do not prune it, I will not be able to take this guy out of this pod. Okay, now the hard part is to take this guy out. Let's see if we can just... tight yeah I would have to try to loosen up space if I will not be able to just pull it out I would have to cut the pot but I want to try and see if I can manage to do it if not the pot would have to go yeah I don't see any option of how I can pull it out without really damaging it. So the next step will be to cut the pot. All right, I had to cut the pot, but unfortunately I was not able to film it for you because I really, really needed help of my cameraman to hold the pot in place so I can cut it. And then I used the fork to go around the edges and just kind of take the plant, make sure I apply pressure so I can loosen up the roots that are really strongly attached to the bottom of the pot. So now, now I can take this guy out and a look at all this roots. Isn't it fascinating? Yeah, we managed to get it out. So now we can put this plant into a much better bigger pot so all these roots can start growing out and the plant can absorb more nutrients and keep growing. While I'm getting ready a new planter for this plant, I have to put the bowl underneath it because this planter that was before, you see, it was keeping plant elevated and now if I just simply put it down, I will reap all the wines. So in order for me to keep all the wines intact, I need to support with this beautiful white bowl. All right, I'm gonna add some pond at the bottom of the inner pot before I place the plant in there. I want to make sure it's not too deep. All right, I can do another layer of the pond because I, I want it to sit properly in the pot. I don't want it to be too deep in there. Okay, all right, now let's move this guy into its new pot. It should go in nice and smooth. I'm going to loosen up the bottom roots a little more so the plant sits a little bit deeper in its new pot. All right, now we are in and I can just put the pawn around it and repotting will be done. Another benefit working with this material that it's not as messy as the soil. Very clean. Very easy. All right, the torture is over. Now we're gonna put the inner pot in the cover and our repotting part of this will be completed. I don't think I made too much mess. So, 
it's so pretty good. Perfect. Now I can move to the next step, trimming and hooking up. I'm gonna use my sharp scissors for trimming and I'm using the wall hooks to keep the plant in place. This time I'm using a different style hooks. They come in different sizes and they have ability to lock the stem in place, which is very helpful, especially when you're attaching plants to the ceiling. I will include all the links for the tools and materials I'm using today in this video, so if you wanna get it, you know exactly where to go. I'm gonna move this desk out of the way so I can put the ladder and start working on this part of the plant. I will trim the bed leaves, I will adjust some wires and I'll add some hooks and then I'll move and I will hook up and guide this long winds. All right, this side is done. I straighten up, evened out some of the stems, and now you can see it's going all along above the window, and we actually reached that corner of the apartment. Oh, by the way, guys, check out all the new plants that are here. They were not here last time when I was here. Look at all this cascading philodendron and pothos and crotons, and look at this amazing money tree another croton and tradiscanthia and this is anthurium beautiful moving on to another side look how long these guys are now i'm gonna guide them towards that side i'm gonna leave one just hanging down to green up this corner a little bit all right now i'm going to prune this new stems back. This will force the plant to grow more and fuller and more stems and get in fuller shape and more the stems grow while we will guide them through the wall and around the space and we'll fill up all this opening. So it's gonna be really full and really green. Right now, I'm just gonna simply cut them back. I will water the plant. After repotting, it's very important to water your plants. The soil, the roots of this plant were really wet. I'm not gonna use a lot of water, but I'm still gonna give this guy a little drink to help the roots to feel better, especially for this plant. It went through so much trouble and shock today. All right, that should be enough. The yellowing, the pale color of the leaves will change the healthy leaves that are just lost its vibrance they will return to a bright green color some of the leaves unfortunately will keep turning yellow and jack the owner of this plant would have to trim them out but for now i'm just going to leave it along i'm going to give the plant to acclimate to its new pot adjust its roots and start growing new leaves and then in spring with some extra fertilizer this plant will explode I am done. Now the roots have much more room to grow. All stems are hooked up and our green project of framing this apartment is coming along great. I will try to keep you updated and share some short videos with you about this, the green project so you can see the process. Hit like if you like this video. Please share with me your own green wall ideas. Subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching. Take care of yourself. Take care of your plants and I'll see you soon.